Okay, let's clean up our backing vocals here. I can't reach your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was meant to be. I keep on tearing through your tragedies. I took the brunt of your shame. Okay, so in addition to doing some just trimming, I think we also have the same sort of low-end rumble noise issue that we had with the other vocal tracks. So what I'm going to do is apply that same selection-based processing that I had before with the high-pass filter on it. Uh, a quick way to do this without having to double-click and open up the track editor is to just press Option-Shift-P, and that'll bring up your selection-based processing dialog. And what do you know? Our high-pass filter is already there. So I'll select the first one, hit apply. You'll see that rumble instantly go away, revealing the breaths that are in between each phrase. And then what I'm going to do is go through and do some heads and tails editing on all of these vocals. For backing vocals, there's really no reason for the breaths to be in there. So I'm going to cut out all of the breaths. And then once again, I'll just add quick fades at the beginning and end of each new region. Here's another breath. Let's cut that out. Add a fade. Add a fade in. That's just how our love was meant to be. I keep on tearing through your tragedies. I took the brunt of your shame. And I Yeah, we don't want all that in there. We don't want all those breaths. Maybe I'll pull this back just a touch. Your shame and all your misery. It's and as you go through and you edit up these backing vocals, you're going to notice that some of these are not quite in alignment with each other, and that's totally fine. We're going to fix that in a moment. In fact, we're going to line up the backing vocals with the lead vocal to make sure everything uh, locks in. And, you know, they don't need to be, like, perfectly in time, but I'd like them to be a little closer uh, to being in time just uh, so that when the chorus kicks in, it kind of just sounds like one big unit of vocals. Okay, so I've trimmed up all of the backing vocals, gotten rid of all the breaths, and added uh, heads and tails fades to every single region. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm actually going to drag over all of these and press J to join them all together. I just want to sort of bounce in place all of those edits that I made. And then the next step is going to be to line up the backing vocals with the chorus lead vocal. It's not 100% important that every single word is 100% lined up, but when you have like a transient come in here and then a transient come in a little bit later, it can kind of make the vocal sound a little bit sloppy. Um, so we want these backing vocals to, to line up for the most part with uh, the lead vocal. I carried your heart when you needed me. That's just how I... Yeah, especially where the, the consonants don't quite line up. That's where we need to, you know, really take care. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn on flex time. And you can manually edit these two if you prefer doing that. But let's you, let's use flex for this. I'll turn on flex for all of these. Even though this isn't polyphonic material, I tend to just go with the polyphonic mode unless I think it doesn't sound good. If it doesn't sound good, I'll switch it over to monophonic. I'm not using any grid snap whatsoever. All I'm doing is just visually lining things up with the lead vocal. So I'm just going to, as sort of like an anchor point, I'm gonna put a couple anchor points in between some of these phrases so that when I move one of them and I'm not moving everything, there we go. Let's add another anchor point here, over here as well. And again, it doesn't have to be all of them, just enough so that, again, when I move one area, it doesn't you know move everything. And I think we can do one more right there, okay. One thing I want to address real quick before we start time aligning the vocals is what are these? These will show up sometimes automatically when you turn on flex time. They're not transient markers and they're also not flex markers. These are actually tempo markers and they can be kind of annoying because when you grab onto one of them and try to move it around, nothing happens. But fortunately, you can right click or control click on each of these and you can select delete flex marker. And even though these are tempo markers, not flex markers, this function will work to delete them. Now, sometimes it'll take like a second or two for them to go away. And if for some reason one of them doesn't go away, just zoom in or zoom out and you'll see it disappear. It's just a weird graphical bug in the version of Logic I'm in. 
But those are tempo markers. They're not flex markers. They're not transient markers. And they can be kind of annoying uh, when you're getting started using flex time. And that's how you can get rid of them. Okay, so let's start by lining up the waveforms. Again, if you look at this, there's like this little nub on here. I'm going to line up those nubs. I'm sure that's uh, the C in the word carry. And um, there we go. Let's do, yeah, so this is pretty far behind. The question is, does this need to go all the way up here um, or not? Um, so let's let's give that a shot. There we go, just like so. I With backing vocals, I tend to, you know, lean more toward the uh, waveform being slightly behind rather than being slightly ahead. And another way to get rid of these pesky tempo markers is just to create a flex marker and then click and drag over it, and it'll just kind of remove the tempo marker. So that's another way you can deal with these. Uh, and if you need to extend the length of your region, you just push forward and it'll uh, trim out the region. Do the same thing here. I carry. And then maybe I can line up, you know, this part here a bit. Again, it's all just visual. So you kind of just have to eyeball it and then listen to it. Eyeball it and then listen to it and repeat. I carry your heart. So let's try doing... Whoops. Yeah. And the other thing is you got to make sure you don't want to have all of them selected at the same time because then it'll try to make that change to all of them. Um, so let's maybe do something like that. Let's pull that forward. Let's pull that forward. And then you can see there's like this dip right here. So let's try to match up that dip. Just like so. And then match up the end of the word as well. Just like that. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. I carried your heart when you needed me. Okay, turning out pretty good. Let's match up the me at the end here. I think this needs to be shortened a little bit. Just like that. And this is just one of these things, like, you get better at it the more you do it. Uh, you get better at just reading the waveforms and, and having an understanding of what's going on just by looking at the waveform. Um, that's certainly a skill that uh, takes time to develop, but we'll just keep lining these up just like so. But when you needed me, that's just how I And I like the tail end of the words, the length of the words to line up as well, especially if the words end with a consonant. This one doesn't, but I like the, the length of the words to, to match up as well. Me, that's just how I So their start points and end points should be roughly the same. That's just how I love. Yeah, all of those L's are at different spots. They're going to be tough because there's not like a noticeable like transient in there to grab onto. How Let's maybe pull that forward a bit. How 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 love was meant to. And again, you can use the transients in the consonants as sort of like pivot points. And so by nudging all of these consonants forward, it can make the content in between the flex markers be more in time. So sometimes I find myself working from the back end of the waveform up to the front. Just depends on, you know, the type of material I'm working with. Love was meant to. Was meant. Let's pull that out a little bit. Sometimes, you know, the consonant will enter before the tonal part, the vowel part of the word comes in, like the M in meant is uh, right here. Was meant to be. Cool. That sounds good. Let's line up the word B here. To be. Okay. okay. So off screen, I went through and I lined up all of the backing vocals, but there's a little conundrum here at the end. Uh, in retrospect, I probably should have left a little more region on here to work with. Uh, because unlike the beginning of the regions, you can't extend the end of the region by just creating a marker and pushing against the region boundary. So what I'm going to do is drag over all of these, and I'm going to make a cut right here. And then if you hover over the upper right corner, this will give you an option to just stretch the entire region. So that's why I made the separation. Uh, otherwise, it's going to stretch all of this over here as well, which I don't want. 
So let's just kind of pull those out and then we'll do that. And the last word cold, and there's like that D on the end of cold. And that's what this is. That's that final uh, consonant there. So let's just see what that sounds like. A cold. There we go. Add our final fade. And then we'll add a cross fade to all of these as well. So let's just select all of these. Hold shift and control. There we go. Okay. So let's listen to all of these soloed with the lead vocal, and then we'll bring in the mixed. We just want to double check the alignment audibly and make sure everything lines up. I carried your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was meant to be. I keep on tearing through your tragedies. I took the brunt of your shame. And the B in brunt is a little weird there. Yeah, it's the T and took and the B in brunt that need to be lined up a bit better. Is I took the brunt of your shame and all your misery. It's just a goddamn shame that you cannot see all that is good. Oh, there's a little something weird going on in there. Let's see all that. Yeah, sometimes you may need to come in here and just kind of remove these markers that were just sort of placeholders. I'd see all that is good for you is just as good for me. I gave you everything and you left me in the cold. Awesome. Okay, let's listen to that whole thing in the mix. Oh. I carried your heart when you needed me That's just how our love was meant to be I keep on tearing through your tragedies I took the brunt of your shame and all your misery It's just a goddamn shame that you cannot see All that is good for you it's just as good for me I gave you everything And you left me in the cold Okay, cool. I'm going to commit to that. Since I already separated the region over here, um, I can just do a join instead of a bounce in place. So just drag over all these, hit J to join them. There we go. And then now I can pull off the flex time and hide flex time. And now everything is locked in. And then I can take these vocals. Let's just turn on bar snap and let's turn on relative value. I can hold option. I can drag these over to the second chorus and the third chorus. Let's just make sure everything still lines up. I carried your heart when you needed me. And then over here. I carried your heart when you needed me. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to focus on the backing vocals. We're going to add EQ and compression, and we're also going to use Logic's pitch correction plugin to tune up the backing vocals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.